Davis, what a shot by Aaron Judge. Just days before the 40-round MLB draft, some lesser-known prospect one last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Day. Never has this player had the chance to command the attention of so many big league buyers. He looks to make each pitch count. Most of today's scout day participants are not considered blue chip prospects, but they all have blue chip aspirations. Done for the day and heading back to the locker room, this player is met by one of the scouts in attendance. Who reminds him that he's still got one more chance to make an impression on the big league buyers. Hit a ball coming! Serpico is back! Sean While Rodriguez preparing for the first of two games at the Topps Amateur Showcase, a prospect is approached by a representative of the MLB Scouting Bureau. Elijah Lopez, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. Shot to second base and handled for the first out. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Walker. Got it, I got it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Leading off for the West. Left fielder. First offering on its way. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. Another one sent foul. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one? And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice off-speed pitch, and that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs, but he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. And he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Now a fastball. Oh, strike three called on a pitch that looked inside. Instead, it's out number two. Wow, that's the kind of stuff that really impresses here in a showcase. That's three Ks for him so far, and he's showing he can make big-time hitters swing and miss on a regular basis, which is something every front office in baseball can appreciate. Definitely helping himself in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Walker moves over, and that ends the inning. Here it comes. Sliders in. This one's down to third. To his left, Blanco. Throw to first in time. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, I'm not sure he was trying to claim the inside part of the plate or if that pitch just got away from him. 
Regardless, in the Topps Amateur Showcase, the scouts want to see a pitcher who's consistent, has good command, and doesn't dig himself into a hole. He can work around that here. And the runner back in standing. In now, Luis Jaquez, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Slider strike three called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes, sit your backside down. Scouts just love a guy that's willing to go right after a hitter, and that's exactly what he did there. I see a lot of scouts in the stands nodding their heads, liking what they see, and I don't blame them. Popped him up. Samuels is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. No Reds will take the ball now. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A one-run MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. One game for each team is in the books, and now it's on to day two. We've got a good matchup ahead between the prospects from the Eastern Seaboard and the prospects from the Central Region. Elijah Lopez, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that added a new pitch to his repertoire, the split finger. He won't throw it that often. I think one of the reasons he tried to pick up this pitch had a difficult time throwing the straight changeup, and sometimes the splitter is the quick pitch fix for that. So it'll be interesting to see how and when he uses the splitter in this one here today. High in the air out to center field. Barrow moves over. One down. Swinging a soft liner. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. From the stretch. Line toward the alley in left center. Barrow calls off the left fielder as he takes charge. Right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw in time and the side is retired. And seven do up to kick off the second inning. Takes a look. Popped him up. Samuels over to his right. He's got it one away. Digging in the switch hitter, Lincoln Clemens, as the switch hitter will take his. Grounded back up the middle. Samuels is up with it. And there are two away now. Lifted the other way out to left center. Barrow giving chase. He gets there to make the catch. And that end pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another. There's another slider that's back to back good oh. sliders and this guy's breaking ball is really good and when he's throwing it well like he is and he's confident with it he can throw it three or four times in a row a really good slider in this. One. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Yeah and the hitter just froze. High pop up. MacArthur calls it, for it. it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. And he's putting on a heck of a show for these scouts right now. When you're getting easy grounders and lazy pop ups like that, you know that hitters just can't get good swings on the ball. He's got great movement, and the results speak for themselves. From what I can tell, the scouts are eating this up. Alexi Mota is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. This round over to first. Childs has it, and he'll step on the bag himself. Roll prospect Dino Perez gets the call from the court. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the set. Here we go. High fly ball, deep left field, way back. 